What's going on, y'all? This is the jankiest video I've ever filmed. Uh, I am literally, I just got home from work. The truck just dropped off this big box. If you, of course, everybody knows there's a kayak in this box. Let me tell you, this is gonna be a really quick unboxing video. There's gonna be a lot more content to come with this kayak. So, um, one of the things that keeps coming up constantly in my coachings with clients is, I wanna start kayaking, my budget is $600. Guys, $600 is really, really, really hard. Um, but keeping that in mind, my bona fide is $1,900. The feel free is $1,000. Um, the lure is like $1,300, $1,400. It's double what all of my coaching clients are trying to spend. So in the effort of being more connected with you guys who are looking to get into this sport, I reached out to my friend Jarrett at Hoodoo. Uh, you guys, guys may remember Jared from a previous video. I will link that video. This boat does not replace my kayaks, okay? Um, I really view kayaks as a tool, and you need different boats for different situations. Uh, this boat is going to fill, fill a very specific niche in my uh, fishing life, and it's also going to be me using a boat that's more attainable to someone who's just getting into the market. This is a 10-foot hoodoo. I think they retail for around 700 bucks, so... Sorry for the janky video, it's dark. I didn't want to wait, I just got it off the truck. I want to unbox it, so let's just get into the unboxing and get a first look at this boat. I don't want to cut into the kayak, so. I'll make sure I have space in this. RIP to this knife blade, it will not cut anything after all this thick. I got all this cardboard and recycling came two days ago, so I got to sit on this cardboard for a week. The hull design, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting the underside of the boat to look like that. This, I have never paddled this boat before, but this makes me look like it's going to have decent stability. 10 foot kayak next to the sedan. I didn't know the sedan is like 11 feet long. That car is little. Gosh, I got to do something better with this video. Super light. What? This thing came with a paddle. I'm glad the camera wasn't running just now. <laughs> I just tripped over there. <laughs> Almost went down in the driveway. All right. <laughs> okay. Initial impressions with this boat. Guys, the bang for the buck value on this boat, regardless, just first impressions out of the box, the, the the dollar, what you get for a dollar spent, I didn't know the boat was going to come with scupper plugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It comes with 10, 11 scupper plugs. Wow. I had no idea it was going to do that. What's up with this hatch? Oh, well, that had a nice seal. What's this? Turn that and it lifts up inside of the boat. Put that back in and you twist it and it won't come back out. This hatch sealed really tight. I had to pull on that really hard to get it up. Okay. Cup holder. Got a decent hatch. Some molded in seat there. Hoodoo and raised lettering. I mean, it's pretty pretty good attention to detail like if you bought this boat if you bought this boat out the door for 700 bucks and you got it to your house you would not be upset right uh threaded inserts already here huh interesting it's already got threaded inserts uh hoodoo lettering pull it's got a pin for a rudder uh this is, this is pretty decent. These are replaceable. It's a stainless steel Allen, looks like, that holds the bungee on. Bungees are pretty tight. Rod holders with covers. Okay. Well, hold on now. Nice pads in the floor. And I'm just kind of taking you guys around to the things that catch my eye as I walk around this boat. Ah, oh, didn't see that. Look at front bungee storage.
This looks like it's threaded to probably take a depth finder, mount for a depth finder. How do these pegs work? You pull on the back and they slide, and they come off. And they go back on some kind of way. Probably need my other hand to do that. There we go. Got rails already. Come with little inserts, threaded inserts. Front hatch looks like the rear hatch. That's pretty tight. Now that's a rod holder, a paddle keeper with an Allen wrench. Warranty card, owner's information. This looks like it's a similar design to the center. Yep, so that lifts out. You got access to the hull. I know it's not gonna be any light in there. I like that cam lock. That's like on my Moken. That seal's pretty tight. If you punch the wave on this boat, or if you flip this boat, you're not gonna take on water. Huh, guys, I'm shocked. Man, the whole ID number, riveted in. And one of the things I like is this angle right here. That's pretty slick looking, right? The way that angle kind of sharply drops off makes it look extra wide and flat. Decent for a little 10 foot. Let's check the seat out. That is the seat on the Hoodoo. When it came, it came in a bag package like that inside the box with the kayak. It was in this uh, empty space, this void space. You had adjustable webbing under here. So you could tighten that up. You got to see what this bungee's for. A strap, you know, screw that into that. That holds the boat, the seat on. So that's your high position. You got a few inches. You could slide some planos underneath that. What I'm interested in is actually the low position. It's not all about the high life, guys. Sometimes in rough water or white water, you got to get low. Okay. That's fairly low. Adjustable seat with the uh, straps here. Let's sit in it. Whew, out here sweating in my work clothes. So, you see that seat position? It's pretty low. Puts my butt right up on top of the, the seat. Now, let me tell you, one of the reasons I was interested in the low seat position, when you're low, um, unlike some other, everybody wants to sit up high. Well, I can sit up low, I can dig my hips in, right? I can rock, I can spin this boat. When I turn, I can push my hips to make it pop and all that sort of thing. But you can you can dig your hips in and really kick that boat around. So um, what do I look like in a 10 foot boat? Let's see. So in the low seat position, my feet are pretty high, right? Um, but this is intended to be a small boat to be used in small places. That's why I wanted the kayak. Y'all see that right there? That bona fide? See, it's nice and pretty. It's for sale. If you want to buy it, let me know. That boat's for sale. And then that 10 foot youth kayak from Feel Free right there is for sale too. Which way do I need to move my hand? That way, no, that way. I gotta move it across. But both of those boats for sale. This is twofold. One, to fish in a boat that's more attainable to most of my clients. Um, so that I can give some perspective on it to review a boat that is more attainable to a lot of my clients so that I can give some perspective on it and possibly recommend this boat. Um, and then three, to get back to the roots of why I started kayak fishing and really start doing some combat fishing in some real sketchy locales. That's why I started out kayaking. So um, this boat weighs less than 50 pounds. Uh, I can carry a couple rods on it and I can literally combat fish. Stay tuned for some content around that. Also, uh, looking for something that Kenai can start paddling. Kenai's six and he loves water. So um, we're gonna put him in the hoodoo and we're gonna see how he does in the 10 foot hoodoo. 10 foot hoodoo.
Hoodoo. Ten foot hoodoo element one hundred. Thanks for watching my way of fishing. I'm out.